Tarek. There's a lot to talk about, particularly about when are numbers not numbers. Oh, yeah, well, let's, let's just get straight into the controversy, shall we? The Yes, the, the ABS sent out some correspondence to Leif Van Onselen at Macro Business and a few other people, including the Daily Mail and 2GB, regarding the migration figures, or in particular, how the net long-term and permanent arrivals figures should not be conflated with the net migration number, except... That's not what Leaf and the rest of them have done. They've, well, I don't know about the rest of them, but I do know, because I've spoken to Leaf about this, that's not what Leaf has done. It's very much a case of, he said that it is a directional indicator. And it's funny that they should say that because that's also what the federal government says in their own paperwork, telling people how to measure migration on a short-term basis. So I, I thought that was rather funny. Well... It's more than funny. It's very concerning. And there's a thematic here. Uh, it isn't just the ABS in Australia, but uh, statistical agencies and other places are also uh, getting a lot of flack. For example, in the UK, there was a review of the Office of National Statistics that came out in June. And basically, they were rubbished. They said they didn't have the right culture in the place. But more importantly, the fundamental focus on producing good statistics had actually gone off the boil and they were experimenting with lots of other sort of flashy, easy statistics. But the core stuff that needed to be done wasn't being done. And that was very, very critical. And in fact, the, the ONS has delayed their retail sales information, which was due out uh, today because of quality issues. So once again, more statistics delayed. And of course, in the US, we have the BLS with their issues with regard to survey levels. So the, the, the worrying thing is that more and more, I think, two points. One, the accuracy of data is in question, but more importantly, the politicization of data is now the real question. And that means that we can't necessarily rely on the critical indicators. Now, that makes central bankers' uh, lives even more complicated or um, unneeded, depending on how you think about it. But for everyday use... Um, we don't know what the truth is. Well, I think part of the problem is, is there's also the issue just of perception, you know, like with Trump firing the head of the Bureau of Labor Statistics, you know, regardless of whether or not inflation does get tamed or regardless of what the statistics actually say, whether they're accurate or not, that the perception will now be that there's just going to be that doubt in the back of everyone's mind of, was this politically motivated? 